Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is on an international trip where he is going to visit South Korea and then later on attend the G7 Leaders Summit in Japan. This trip comes at a time when the world is collectively facing security threats and economic uncertainty magnified by climate change. The Prime Minister is expected to be in Seoul between May 16th and 18th after South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol's visit to Ottawa last fall. Since then, both countries have released their Indo-Pacific strategies, plans that aim to counterbalance Chinese influence by increasing economic and military ties in the region. Trudeau is also scheduled to attend the G7 Leaders Summit in Hiroshima, Japan between May 19th and 21st. As G7 host, Japan says it chose to have the summit in Hiroshima to symbolize its commitment to peace during a time of growing risk of weapons of mass destruction and an ongoing war in Ukraine. The United States dropped the world's first atomic bomb on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, destroying the city and killing 140,000 people. It dropped a second bomb three days later on Nagasaki, killing 70,000 more. While in Seoul, Trudeau is expected to attend a ceremony to open the Khapyong Battle Commemorative Trail meant to honor Canada's contributions during the Korean War. He is not expected to visit the demilitarized zone separating North and South Korea. Leaders of G7 countries, Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy and Japan meet annually to collaborate on shared goals. This year's summit will focus on seven main agenda items, including geopolitical and global security issues, economic resilience and climate change and energy.